Hello, hey, how's it going? Welcome, I'm Tyson with Faithfully Bearded, as you can see up here, and today, we're gonna unbox this package that I got. We So we got a beard unboxing and review all in one. So check this out. Let's get in to the unboxing from Untamed Beards. Let's see what's all up in here and let's go dig in. All right, let's do this. I got my, my my trusty Hobby Lobby razor blade for you all to see. And we got this nice little box here. I talked on Tame Beards a little bit. He sent out uh, this box so we can slice it open here, see what's inside. I've heard so much about Untamed Beards. So I'm gonna unbox it. I'm gonna test it out for a while. And then I'll come back and do a review. So how cool is that? So inside, the first thing we see is Aubrey Chores, AKA Peanuts. But we like to just toss them, toss them for Aubrey to clean up so she doesn't have so much to do. So we have a note or a receipt or something. We're gonna find out what it is. So it's the receipt of what I got. And then inside we have a white little box. So we'll just scoot this over here so you guys can see that. We'll open up this little box. Oh, it opens this way. This way here. And what do we have? But well, we have the first bottle. So here you can see, really like their bottles. You got the square bottle here, the twist top lid, really nice label on there. And as you go all the way around, you got a really cool design. Teak and leather, this one's called. I don't really know a bunch about Untamed Beards. Mm. I don't get much teak. I get a lot of leather. It's a nice clean leather scent. So here we go. The next one. Citrus Spice. You can see it here. We got Citrus Spice. We'll open this guy up. Grab it all. A little sniff, sniff, sniff-a-roo. Wow. That, it's got some spice in it. This might, this is, this is a really good smelling citrus spice. So the next one we have, the Woodsman. You got the Woodsman, you got the green on there. It says the Woodsman in green. Now, disclaimer, I'm not a huge wood fan in my beard oil. So we'll just smell this here. You got the drip stop uh, caps. I'm not a huge fan of the drip stops. I'd rather have like an eyedropper. Hmm. I don't get a bunch of wood out of this. I get kind of like a mint kind of. But here's the ingredients. Sweet almond oil, grapeseed oil, jojoba oil, argan oil, scented essential oils. And the next one we have is Knight's Templar. So we'll see how the Knight's Templar goes right here. We're going to open this up. Hmm. I don't know what I really get out of that. I'll have to look at what the scent profile is because I don't, I don't, I can't identify the scent. We'll just say that. So now we're going to go back into this trusty box here. Nice Templar Balm. We have the Woodsman Balm. We have something in here. We have Teak and Leather Balm. So you got gold Check this out. You got gold uh, tins, twist top tins, two ounces. You got that nice label on there. The label looks really good. It's kind of like uh, old fashioned paper. Oh, and you get the scent right in these balms here. You get the scent. It smells like leather. On the back, you got the ingredient label. So let's just see. Not soft enough that I can push it down, but I can scrape it out with my thumbnail. Nice and smooth. I like that. Smells good going in beard. So we'll see how this... It feels like it's you're going to have like the medium hold to it. Let's just see what the ingredients are here. 
sweet almond oil, grapeseed oil, jojoba oil, argan oil, shea butter, mango butter, raw yellow beeswax, white beeswax, essential oils, and vitamin E. Sounds pretty awesome to me. So then you have uh, citrus spice balm. We have that. And what do we have else in here? We have this package. We have this little guy right here. And what do I see? We have this cool looking container. So you got a glass jar with a twist top lid. There you can see the label. If you can't read it, it says Sleepy Time Beard Butter. Wow. Sleepy Time Beard Butter. Oh, this is nice. Let's just grab a little, little thumbnail out of here. Just see how... Oh, that's creamy. That emulsifies up real nice, real creamy. The scent is kind of minty to me right off the bat. And then we have nothing else in the box. I don't know what the exact scent profile is, but we'll figure it out on the review, right? That's what we do. Like I said, this is kind of first impression. I don't know what else. What I really don't know much about untamed beards. So then here's Sleepy Time Beard Oil. So you're going to put this on um, before bed. You're going to put a little butter on before bed. And you're going to go just like that, I guess. So, I don't, I got, uh, whoa, wait, 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 wait. We got another thing here. Jeez, I almost passed that up for you guys. How dare me? How dare me? So we have bamboo mud. Bamboo mud, and you can see this is like a soap, and then it's got the label on it and some twine wrapped around it. That's pretty cool. It just says bamboo mud soap. It doesn't say anything more than that. So, it has an interesting scent, I would say. Um, not like a soapy scent or anything like that. Just something a little bit different, but I like it. So, we're going to dig into all this untamed beards. I've heard a lot about them. I'm excited to get them in my beard, try them out, and then come back and let you guys know what I think. So, um, I'm going to give them three, four days. I'm going to try out uh, the butter at night. I'm going to try out the Sleepy Time Beard Oil, and I'll follow up with you guys uh, and just see how everything goes. So, okay, we're back, that right? That so, way. we're finishing off this unboxing. Uh, we've spent some time with untamed beards, and like I mentioned before, I had the package, I unboxed it, I've had untamed beards before, so I've been using them for a while, but I wanted to show you guys what that experience is like. So, now we're going to finish off the review portion of untamed beards. So, if you're new here again, we unbox, we review, and then we come back and do a review video. Um, some of these like this were kind of thrown into one video just for um, time constraints, um, so we, we have an opportunity to wear uh, some products on the weekend. If it's something I really like, I end up wearing it every weekend, um, one or two of the days. And then it's like, man, I need to do a review on them. So that's how this happened as I purchased from them. I really liked it and I found myself continuing to wear it. So I was like, well, I'm just going to buy some more stuff from them. I want more product. And then I have something to show you guys on an unboxing video. Now I can talk about it too. So you saw the unboxing um, and Untamed Beards, Nick is out of New York. And he's got a really unique design here. I'm not a big fan of these drip stop bottles, but I've kind of come to figure them out a little bit. And then you got the nice balms here. The cool thing is on the website... You can actually get balms, and he says they're four ounces. The label says 3.5, but you can get them in these jars, jars if you use a lot of balm. You could pick regular hold, strong hold um, on any of them. And we had quite a few here that we tested out, but a lot of people like the Gatsby, which is like a sandalwood and espresso bean. Uh, that's like the big one. I'm not a huge sandalwood fan, so I kind of just stayed away from it, to be honest with you. But I really like citrus spice, so I went with the citrus spice. Here's what the balm looks like. And this has such a nice hold. Like, I am in, so in love with this balm. Um, it smells good, and for a citrus scent, 
it lasts, the spice definitely lasts longer than the citrus. But there was times throughout the day I'm like, dang, how long have I had this stuff in? Because I'm still getting a whiff of that spice. And I was like, this is awesome. So I really enjoyed that. The sleepy time is cool. Um, it's got a nice scent, like a nice minty floral scent uh, to use uh, before bed. You just kind of feel fresh and clean spring day. Um, be able to go to sleep, you feel a little bit on your skin um, with the butter and then you have the oil. So that I use at night, used at night during testing. Citrus spice is where I went majority of the time during the day. The teak and leather, teak and leather is really nice. I get more of the leather scent and it's a nice leather scent. Like this is a good leather scent. It's not one of those leather scents that you put in, you're like, meh. But it's a good leather scent and it lasted, the leather lasted throughout most of the day for me. Um, so I, I mean, I would give it an, a six to 10 hour rating and you could cut it in the middle and say eight, but it just depends on the day. I, I, some days I'm in the office, some days I'm outside. And during that time frame, the wind, the air, stuff can dry it out, stuff can take it away. But when I'm in the office, I have nothing really blowing in my face to waft it up either. So it's kind of like, they both have their situations that are good. Um, they both have their situations that hold you back a little bit. So, I love the design that he does on these. This is what you're gonna get in a two ounce balm. This is what you'd get in a four ounce. Um, and then the oils. And this is high quality stuff. I mean, it looks really nice, but not only that, it's, it's high quality. Almond oil, grapeseed oil, jojoba oil, argan oil, vitamin E, and essential oils. So to get the sense that he gets with essential oils is pretty impressive. Um, and then to get uh, the hold and everything that he gets, but still have a good scent profile in the balms, that's what's really impressive for me. I like a, a stronger hold balm, but something that still emulsifies well in the hand. And let me just show you how well this emulsifies. So we'll just scoop a little bit more out with my nail here, and then we'll put it on the palm, just like that, and we'll just go like that, and there you go. Like, it's emulsified and gone. So it emulsifies really easily and well, and then when you put it in, like, oh, you got that nice citrus scent. You got the nice spice. And I'm, I'm pretty sure it's cinnamon. And cinnamon, I don't know, for some reason I really like cinnamon in my beard. It just is good. So we got cinnamon, and you get a little bit. Uh, you can feel that cinnamon on your skin a little bit, which I don't mind. But the way that the balm... Uh, goes into the beard and, and gets in there and soaks in and attaches like it holds my beard in place and it keeps it looking really nice uh, I'm a big fan of the balm in fact like I said I, I bought this early April and I continue to go back to it and continue to use it um, randomly and I'm just like why don't I use this stuff more I need more of this stuff so I'm pretty pumped about that uh, I think you guys should try it out. Uh, the The pricing's fairly decent. If I remember right, it's like eleven ninety nine for a bottle of oil, and I think fifteen bucks for a thing of balm. So not bad at all. Uh, don't quote me on the prices, but I'll link the website below so you can check it out. But Untamed Beards, if you haven't tried them, there's a scent out there for everybody. There's a woodsy scent. There's a garden scent. They got a new spring scent mango agave is it agave or agua agave however you pronounce it there's a mango agave agave one which is a spring scent for 2019 which seems awesome to me it sounds right up my style and i think i might have to try it out i don't know citrus spice probably the best citrus spice i've ever tried and it's amazing it's um, if you like spice this citrus spice is top of the line citrus spice uh, Knight's Templar is another popular one that he has, and then obviously the Gatsby is um, his most popular seller. Again, that's Sandalwood and Espresso. I, I've heard that the Sandalwood isn't super prevalent in there, but I haven't tried it, so I can't really comment on it. These are just the ones that I have and that I got from him. So I, I got to go purchase that Mango Agave one uh, because I think Mango and all of that is right where I want to be. And if I can get that in a bomb, stellar. So you got a really nice design. You got, it looks good on the beard shelf. You got decent pricing. Um, you got some awesome scent profiles. The owner is really nice, fast shipping. So 
Would I recommend you guys to go to Untamed Beards? Absolutely. And the only thing I really wish with Untamed Beards is that it was more prevalent in social media. I'd love to see him on Instagram, popping in Instagram Lives, really putting his business out there. But I know he's busy um, in his, his normal life. Um, so that's probably why he's not as prevalent in social media. But I think we could spread the word a lot more through social media with this. So I'm pumped for you guys to let me know in the comments below. That's my challenge to you is enjoy this weekend. Comment down below what your favorite scent is from Untamed Beards and share this video. So hit the bell, hit the subscribe, the like button and share this video. And once you've shared it, come back and comment and tell me where you shared it. That's a pretty good challenge for this weekend. So thank you guys for all that you do. Spread the word, faithfully bearded. We unbox, we do devotionals, we do reviews, and we're always honest and we're always doing it the faithful way. So thank you guys for all the support. I appreciate and love each and every one of you. And until I talk to you guys again soon, God bless you all.